New for listing is a 2018 Roballo R246 Cayman. In this walkthrough video, I'm gonna show off all our features and film her in such a way as if you're standing here with me. I'll also try to capture anything that I see on her, uh, anything that sticks out from the ordinary. This vessel is coming in for sale uh, March 2022, uh, and it is a consignment vessel. I'm gonna walk around the outside of the boat, show off anything I see on her. I did sell this boat originally. This is in its native form. We have not had a chance to detail it yet. A couple little scuffs here and there on the gel. The gel does appear to be very shiny, which I'll try to capture on the other side. Show off the bottom on the chine. And along the keel. It is in the wide band ice blue hull. It does have 316 stainless steel. That's in the gel coat here. A couple scuffs and scrapes. Nothing I see out of the ordinary. It does have forward docking lights. Those were added. Not available on the 2018 model, but we did add it when uh, we sold the boat originally. Clean bottom. We do have little scuffs and scrapes here. You can kind of see in the video. <clears throat> Bow of the boat appears to be in very good shape. Very clean. It does have a full cover. Now this is a custom cover that was made by Romano Canvas. Uh, covers all the way down to the chine. This is a bug. Some dock. You can't see this here probably in the video. Uh, that could be buffed out. Uh, again, this has not been cleaned up yet. I'm getting a, a shots of her as she's coming in. We do have the swim platform off the back of the boat. Custom painted Yamaha F300 XCA. This is the digital shift engine. We do have some wear on the skeg. It's pretty typical down here. This is a shallow draft boat. 10 foot blade power pole on this custom mount. Now these custom mounts here, these are powder coated and this is very typical of any of these. This is aluminum and uh, the only way to to fix that is to clean it up and have it repainted. Otherwise, it's gonna look like that uh, no matter what. Do have Lenko, <coughs> Lenko trim tabs. Just over 200 hours on this Yamaha F300 engine. Also have underwater lights and down below a B60 transducer, six inch Atlas jack plate. That means you could take off in 16 inches of water and float in 12. Anchor lockers throughout this, or lockers throughout this vessel. We do have friction hinges. <clears throat> Raw water and freshwater washdowns with a freshwater fill. 90, almost 90 gallons of uh, live wells aboard this vessel. Lighted live wells, these are all insulated. That's just dirt at the bottom. Move my shoes here. Now these, uh, these Lexan glass can be moved from uh, live well to live well. So you can take them out and then move them how you like. The upholstery seems to be in very good condition. Boat looks to be like uh, it was always covered. Fresh water tank, blade power pole controls, um, Pro Mariner Pro Sport uh, battery charger, and access to your house batteries and start batteries, two batteries each, and then also the uh, plate that goes back in here and fills this area in wide gunnels on this vessel. We do have extra uh, uh, rod holder, cup holder combos up here along with cup holders. Does have the, the casting chair. Another forward locker. Now this is insulated and also your live well is lighted. Everything drains overboard on this vessel. Forward anchor locker. Now up front, a 72 inch Minn Kota uh, eye pilot. Uh, not on the vessel, but included. Access to your electronics, your battery charger, um, your table supports. Now you do have a table up here forward along with the battery charger controls. Table legs, rod storage up in the front. Now you notice I can get into all these lockers here with the, um, with the cushions on and that's unique to Roballo. Insulated fish locker. These seat backs do remove. We do have some dew here. Uh, but the cushions are actually in very good shape. Looking down in the head at all the vinyl. <clears throat> we do have uh, the seat cushions still in the plastic wrap. These uh, look to be in 
well, really good condition. Seat, uh, forward seat, and then also your full cover for the vessel. Ice blue underneath the uh, T-top, that's in the gel coat. Bolsters look to be in good shape. We do have some, uh, some yellowing of the Roballo logo on the vinyl here, some mold. This looks to be uh, somewhat superficial. Igloo cooler down below, but a mold inside the plastic, pretty typical. Uh, top looks to be in good shape. We do have spreader lights. Coming around, do have flip down uh, cushions, flip down uh, footrest, access to your battery switches here, jack plate controls, Lenko trim tabs with indicators, underwater lights, all of your um, uh, spreader lights, your switches here, along with bilge indicator, just at 204 hours, if you can see that there, Clarion Bluetooth stereo system, power pole controls, nine inch Garmin screen. This is the multi-touch display, and it does have the sonar with the uh, Garmin B60. Digital controls, powers, or um, you do have hydraulic steering on this vessel. Up top, access to your electronics box. I do see a VHF radio up there, it is not connected. I'm not sure if that is included with this uh, uh, at this time. Boat appears to be in very good condition. I have sold it originally. It is scheduled for its annual service, and then it'll be available for sale. It does have the Yamaha 3 plus 3 extended warranty from Purchase and New, which was the beginning of 2018. So we still have extended warranty on the engines. For more information on this vessel, or any of our other vessels, give Joe Davis at Fishtail Boats a call. I'll be happy to talk to you.